man. I'm doing okay. Hanging in here. It's been a trying week. I don't know about you. Yeah. Well, it, it was, you know, but if it's Friday night and it's seven o'clock on a Friday night, you know what time it is. So uh, what's up? regardless <laughs> of how challenging the week was, it's G yeah. Hub time. That's right. Elder Pearson, how are you doing today? He's oh, I'm doing quite well, thank you. I hope you guys are doing well also. Yeah, good to yes, see yes, you. Sir. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for we letting us see your face. Well. <laughs> exactly. I, mean, I do periodically. I'm a multitasker. <laughs> Elder Jackson, can we ask people to show their faces for a little bit and, 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 and talk to them Look. a bit? You could try. I heard that Gethsemane family a tough crowd. Sometimes they don't follow instructions. No, not this, <laughs> not this Gethsemane family. Not this Gethsemane family. I, I, I know we are folk here. There you go. My girl is up. Linda Bui, Sister Bui, she's up and rolling. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. How are you? Hello. Doing hey, great. Pastor, oh, you look, Elder, Elder Mensa, we, we, yes. have, um, we have Jarvis with us from the Philippines again. Hey, Jarvis. Hey. <laughs> that is so wonderful, man. So good nah, to see nah. you. <laughs> we are always excited uh, to see you flying from the Philippines. What did you bring this time? You know, I'm from Africa, so we asked that question. What did you bring this time? <laughs> I think he's trying to show up his dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I see, I see a stranger up in here, Sister Shelly Grady. What? Is she yes. on? <laughs> Sister Shelly Grady is on board. Sister Shelly, are you there? I see you. You can't hide thanks to technology. Look, she, she's probably learning how to operate her gadget, so we're going to have to right. I, be, I better if not she mess it up. Quickly, quickly, <laughs> we, we, we know that she's getting it together. <laughs> she Look. will get it together. But uh, I, I think this is uh, such a wonderful time in the Lord. It's good to see Pastor, good to see everybody. And I think we'll just get rolling. How about we have Pastor give us the opening prayer? How about that? Is that okay, Pastor? Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. All right, all right. Prayer. Let us pray. Loving Father, we are so appreciative of your love and your kindness, your tender mercy. We thank you for protecting us throughout this day, for your arms of protection being around us. And now, Lord... You're on mute, Pastor. Pastor, you're on mute. Amen. Oh, Amen. I'll start speaking the spirit. <laughs> yeah. the other half. Maybe, maybe somebody read my tongue. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm about to interpret right there. Read my lips, you know. I, I, yeah. thought, I thought he was... I thought it was Hannah in the temple. His mouth was moving, but wasn't that coming out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that That's my thought, you know? He, he came <laughs> up in here drunk on, on Friday night. <laughs> so, hey, don't even know, bring I that guess, one up. <laughs> I, guess, I, guess, I, guess, I guess when he went in the drunk mode, he was praying for you, Sister Jackson. <laughs> Probably so. That's when the mic went silent. <laughs> 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 so, so, so his lips were moving, but no words were coming out. I guess what the, the Holy Spirit was interpreting that prayer, and right. I know All God right. is good. God is Amen. good. I, you, you know, you know, I, I feel in my spirit that somebody up in here wants to talk. Folk are just too quiet. Man, it's been a week. Haven't heard from you. Can somebody just unmute and talk to us? Get so many. We just want to chat a little bit. Please, somebody unmute, 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 unmute. And, and talk while while the platform is um open for for um you to come off of mute. If we have any visitors with us, if you please will yes. um, state your name and tell us where you're visiting from, mm -hmm. or if you're not comfortable with that, if you want to put it in the chat, we'll give you a shout out that way as well. That's right. That's right. That's wonderful. And I think our first shout out goes to Brother Jarvis. Brother Jarvis is here with us, and my mom from Apopka, Florida, is on. Welcome, mom. God bless you richly. Yes, somebody on mute. Has God done something for you? A little testimony. Brief, brief. One minute, one second. Somebody. Get so many. I know you're not quiet. Uh, and I will uh, say, 
Take a I hello, say Andy, Mendes. How are you doing, man? Hey, Brian, doing well. Good to hear from you. Sister Bui, take it over. <laughs> I was just going to say, God is always doing something good for me. I am here. I'm alive. I'm accounted for. I am on G-Hop Live tonight. That's so right. God is good. That's <laughs> right. You're alive and kicking and looking good, too. Yeah, is that Linda? <laughs> yeah, yes, that's the new Linda. Good. Nice. You, Linda. <laughs> I didn't know who that was. That's that a fired up, Linda. Has it been that long? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you know something, Dr. Do Do Mensa? Yes, sir. Tell me. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy, Roland, who is um, actually celebrating a birthday today. Hey, uh, man. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, they're sitting right around the table here with me. You just can't <laughs> see mercy. them. We we're in a birthday, a G Hop birthday mode, you know. Mercy, so mercy, fun. mercy. So we just want to give a shout out to my buddy. All right. Uh, uh, Elder McKenzie, hey, can can you yeah. put him on the camera? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you just want to hog the camera. <laughs> okay. That's right. Okay. That's right. Oh my let, God. Let, 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 let me turn around. <laughs> Hey, what's Hello, up, Roland? Hey. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Okay, okay. Hey, All right. God richly bless you on this very, very good day. Appreciate that it. Appreciate it. The desires of your heart. May his blessings pour your way on this okay. very special day. God richly bless you. Good to have you, you on. Thank you so much. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. Yes, sir. And, and, and so, Dr. Mensa, we are. So, yes. so, so we are celebrating with a lot of food and all kinds of stuff Have right mercy. now, you know? So we just turned it into a G-Hop celebration, too. <laughs> I'm, sure there, I'm sure there is some Holy Ghost, Unholy, Jack Chicken, Jack Goat, <laughs> everything up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Elder, Elder Mensa, you didn't call uh, Elder McKenzie a jerk, did you? Well, I, I tried, I tried, and I polished it, you know. I tried, and, and I polished it. <laughs> How you doing, sister? Get, get, him, get him, Sister Marva. That's, that's Sister Marva. That's from Jamaica. We have Jamaica in the house, brothers and sisters. Welcome, Jamaica. Good to have You're welcome. You You're welcome. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm okay. everybody good. Miss Marva, I, 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 I always... I always appreciate being in me, being in this forum. I'm listening Mercy. you guys. Mercy. Lo yes. Love to listen to the word of God coming from, from you. Amen. 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 And tonight, tonight is going to be a powerful night. Tonight yes. is going to be a powerful night, Sister Jackson. Praise tonight the Lord. Is, it will be a dynamite. I mean, folk, you are in for a treat. Amen. If you haven't invited somebody, now is the time. Get yes. your phone. Call somebody, let them know and, that Gethsemane is live with yes. power. And the powerful man of God is about to shake the burdens of our bodies. I don't know about yes. you, Mr. Jackson. I'm excited. I'm excited because with Jihad, we I have... am excited. And, Ms. and Elder Mackenzie invited me. And um, that is good, spreading the word of God. Amen. <laughs> yes. Amen. Hey, Sister Joy, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I like the way you love to spread the word of God. You are such a blessed man. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Yes, you are a blessed person. You always share the word of God with Amen. others. Amen. Yes. Take it over, Sister Jackson. Elder Jackson. Well, um, Jihad Live is not only fire, but it's mm -hmm. also fun where we get That's to right. fellowship with each other and our youth participate. Our youth mm. segment is coming up next. But listen, I did want to share something. I was in a group discussion, uh, uh -huh. and um, I asked, you know, some some pastors, what was the most challenging thing about preaching in a Zoom or virtual environment? Oh, and mercy. They said that they could not see the people's faces. That's right. When you can see the faces, you can read whether or not your message is effective mm -hmm. or not. But when mm -hmm. everybody goes to that black screen, mm. it's just like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, have, they have to trust what the Lord gave them that is, <laughs> is working because they can't see it. So they don't mind. 
if you don't mind, uh -huh. and you're in a situation where you can show your face on the screen, mm -hmm. if you will, because we do want our guests to have a, a warm welcome. Although he's That's been right. here before, we want to show him a warm welcome. And this That's time right. we're going to turn the program over to our youth department for some of the fun part of G-Hop Live. Amen. And I think Miss um, Kalila is leading out tonight. And Maria, Wonderful. we did see you, we saw your face in the place. But um, <laughs> Kalila, you're, you're leading out, correct? Yes, I am. Can you guys hear me okay? We can. Okay, good evening, everybody, and happy Sabbath to you all. Happy um, Sabbath. Yeah, happy Sabbath, guys. So this is a chance for you all to continue to keep yourselves unmute because we're going to play an uh, interactive game. And the game we're going to be playing is Who Am I? Mm. So there's a couple of tricky ones. Well, at least I thought they were tricky. Um, as I get ready to share my screen, there were a couple of tricky ones and there were some that were a little bit on the easier side. So... I'm going to share my screen and don't look at the answers if I mess up. Well, <laughs> I'll try. Again, while she's doing I'll... that, if we do have any visitors, any other visitors that we have not recognized, please put your name in Ooh. the chat. All right, can you guys see the screen? Yep. Man. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So welcome to Youth Corner. Who am I? So the first question is, I was the brother of Moses chosen by God to be his spokesman to Israel. Who am I? You can learn out your name or put him in the chat. I hear Aaron. Who said that? Johnny. Johnny. Aaron, anybody else have another answer? Besides Aaron, we have a hint. It comes from Exodus 4, verse 14 through 17, and the correct answer is Aaron. Good job, Johnny. We're going to give that one to you and anybody else who got it correct. All right, moving on. Okay, so we did not bow to other gods, so we were thrown into the furnace. Who are we? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh. Johnny, is that you again? He is quick. <laughs> right. Johnny is getting all the points. Look, all right. So, I, I, uh -huh. think I think Johnny goes to um, Gethsemane Junior Academy. <laughs> yeah. I think so, too. <laughs> we need to give him full scholarship. I do. Yes. <laughs> he said, I do. All right, now. Get that money together. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> okay. So our hint is found in Daniel chapter one and three. So we'll go to the next one. It was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but we have a bonus question. What were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's original name? Mm. And I can't see answers in the chat right now because I'm presenting. So if someone else is putting them in the chat, can someone read them off for me? Chat is Any silent. answers? Kalila, was it Tony, Darnay, and um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you need baptism of the oil? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, it wasn't them because I think no. Tony wasn't that fiery den a couple times. No, not him. Okay, <laughs> no. Any other answers? Any other tries? Guesses? Let the answers flow. Wow, nobody knows. That's serious. Okay, so let's go back to Latonya. The... It's Latonya, Cliff, and Elder McKenzie. Um, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Not fire with our fantasy. Let's go back to your hint. I think I think Johnny trying to answer again. Yeah, Johnny, what you got? Belshaza. Kananaya. And Mishael. Good okay. job. <laughs> okay, so we have, right. um, yeah, you got two of them right. It's Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Mm -hmm. So Hananiah was Shadrach, Mishael was Meshach, and Az Azariah was Abednego. The bad Negro. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> you guys don't know how many times I said that this week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so next question. Who was the cousin of Esther who raised her like a daughter? Who am I? Rekia. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Let's give a hint. Esther 2, verse 7. Mordecai. Mordecai is the answer. Johnny, was that you again? Yes. Johnny, we're going to have to give you an extra star on your crown or something. All right. So next question. God changed my name to Israel. Who am I? Is everybody on mute? Jacob. Jacob. Who said that? That was not Johnny. (laughs) <laughs> is it uh, Jacob? Yes, it is Jacob. And the hint came from, oops, the hint came from Genesis 3, verse 10. That's me. Okay, I hear okay. you, Brian. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I think this is the last one. I am the brother of, oh no, there's one more after this. I'm the brother of Rebecca. Who am I? Your hint is going to come from Genesis 27, verse 42 through 44. That was my uncle. Robin. Nabin. Do I get any other answers? I hear Nabin. You said what? Nabin? What, what, what was your answer, Kalila? I didn't say Nabin. the answer yet. I'm waiting for you to give me the answer, Brian. Nabin. Nabin? Nabin. I said Laban. Uh, I'm saying what? What about what about reverse? What's that again? Okay, so the question is: I am the brother of Rebecca. Who am I? I hear Laban is an answer. Anybody else have a different answer? Yeah, is it Isaac? Mm, I don't think it's Isaac. I well, think it's that, Laban. That again? Genesis. Yeah, the, the, the text was Genesis 27, 42 through 44. All right, so let's go to the last one, Double Jeopardy. If you tuned into the sermon last Sabbath, this person, I took two spies into my home uh, who were sent to scout Jericho and hid them on my rooftop. Who am I? Rahab? Rahab. 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 Hannah yes, got that one. the answer is Rahab, and that completes our Youth Corner. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Awesome Youth Corner. Oh, wow, wow. Our youth never disappoint. And they I'm are right. always on point. They never disappoint. They always on point. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Hannah, and and um. Johnny, I mean, he was quick with his responses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you betcha. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. That was good. I always look forward to that. I, I saw Sister Peggy, and I thought it was Sister Peggy, and it turned out to be brother somebody else. <laughs> Anybody see him? <laughs> who, who was it? <laughs> well, it's it's uh, brother... Um, That's Ken <laughs> Watkins. Watkins. Uh, <laughs> he's impersonating. Yeah, I'm, I'm yes, impersonating today. <laughs> Amen. Oh, Elder McKenzie. Elder McKenzie. Yes, please go on. With, with this, with this fiery re- preacher that we have speaking tonight, uh-huh. um, I, I understand he's bringing some fire through music. Should we introduce him first, and then let let the beautiful songstress? come forth or which which order would you like to do it tonight so listen the, the two are so powerful at the mckenzie that i don't know which to go first so i guess uh i don't know um the, the music the song stress happens to be the wife of the man of god about to break the word and she's another dynamo you know yes. she's a bird. <laughs> so <laughs> and so doc yeah I, <laughs> I, I think we should do the introduction first. Okay. And then allow the dynamo lady uh-huh. to go and then afterwards her husband. 
Now, okay, okay, hey, hey, Elder, Elder Jackson, Elder McKenzie, every now and then he gets it right, right? <laughs> every yeah, now, yeah, and every now and then. <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah, when the pill you better get him he while he's hot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so, so how about Elder McKenzie? You you take us through um, the, the 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 introduction. So, so after this introduction, we're going to have a beautiful number rendered by our own very wonderful, beautiful sister Sharita Terrell, the wife of our pastor. But we're going to talk about the man of God. And she will lead him into the word. Elder McKenzie, you want to take us off? And I'll join yeah. you somewhere in the middle. This man we don't need to introduce to get so many, really. How about we talk about him? Let's talk about him whilst he's here. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you, you know, Doc. Yes, this sir. man, this man was born in the second most beautiful parish in Jamaica. Have mercy. I, I, I'm sure he will disagree with me when he started speaking. <laughs> But when he has the floor, the floor is his. Mm -hmm. and, and so he was raised by his grandmother mm -hmm. and um, baptized in the Seventh-day Adventist church at the age of 12. So, so he's been in the church for a long time. Mm. And so he started preaching and he preached his first sermon when he was 15. Mm. And not long after that, he began preaching all over Jamaica. Mm. That's how good he was even from those days, man. Have mercy. And so while on one of his evangelistic endeavors, he was encouraged to study for the ministry at Northern Caribbean University. Mm -hmm. And in 2001, he enrolled. Mm. He's been on a roll since. And after graduation, he worked in his Jamaica conference. Um, Dr. Mens, I've said a mouthful. I think I, I think I should leave a little space for you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I appreciate that. I, I hear he didn't stop there. He did not stop in Jamaica. He moved on to the Bahamas. And there, I understand that he was invited to conduct evangelistic crusades. Um, and later, he took up a pastoral offer and served from 2007 to 2017 before mm -hmm. moving to the United States of America. You know, we all want to be here. <laughs> now, <laughs> while in the Bahamian con Conference, he served as the Family Life Director. This man has done a lot. I mean, Health Ministries Director, um, Sabbath School Director for the conference mm -hmm. now, not, not for the conference. And there he was honored as the Pastor of the Year and won the leading evangelist on six consecutive periods. So this Mercy. man has been around, man. He, he, he's, he's, he's a heavy hitter. You know, yes, sir, he is. He was also recognized and awarded the Inter-American Division Outstanding Worker in Evangelism, all mm. through the leading of God. And he was able to raise up the Ebenezer Church um, and Mount Hope Summer School Brand Churches. But brothers and sisters, I met this man in Fayetteville, North Carolina. When I saw him, I said, mm, this gentleman must be from Ghana. <laughs> My wife said, nah, his wife is from Jamaica. I said, well, no wonder, because the bunch of Jamaicans are from Ghana. They are shanties. I met him, very young, handsome, very unassuming young man. And uh, one day, at this church, you know, the brothers gave the brother the pulpit. And boy, you talk about a bad Negro. <laughs> he <brought laughs> yes, the house sir. down. <laughs> I yes. mean, you, you know how hard it is to lift the brethren up. You know who I'm talking about, right? This is the faithful SDA church. I'm not talking about Abney. The brother brought the house down and lifted the brethren to the roof, if you know what I'm talking about. Mercy. He Mercy. did his thing. This Negro brought it down. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. He showed them what a true Nubian preacher is. And I'll just leave some space for Sister Jackson to wrap it up. I, this is a powerful man of God, Sister Jackson. One thing I like about Pastor Terrell is that he loves and desires nothing more than mm. to see men, women, boys, and girls sign up for the Christian Jubilee. Have mercy. Presently, he serves in the South Atlantic Conference as the pastor mm. for Ephesus and Calvary Churches in North Carolina. 
Mm -hmm. With God's help, he continues to preach um, and do seminars across America and the Caribbean territories. Listen to this. Tell By me. God's power. Power. <laughs> he has conducted over 40 gospel series. Of mercy. And led over, get this, 2,700 precious souls to accept Christ as their savior. Amen. That deserves an amen. You can come out of music. That is something out there. He is married to the bold and the beautiful Serena. And their union has produced two wonderful children, both boys. And when he's not preaching, he enjoys fishing and listening to good old time gospel music. He says like the Chuck Wagon Gang. How and messy. rapping with all the people of Way all back. ages and just relaxing at home. His <laughs> greatest desire is to win as many souls as possible. Oh, mercy, 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 church. We couldn't have brought down a better man. We, we hand over to you, the Terrells. Sister Sharita Jackson. Uh, is it nice to say Sharita Jackson or Sharita Terrell? Will, will render the music. <laughs> and... <laughs> And, and, and for after that, we'll hear Pastor Terrell breaking the word of God. Hear him, hear him, hear her Amen. too. God bless you. Happy Sabbath and good evening, saints of God. This is definitely where the fire is. Jihad. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pleasure to um, fellowship with you guys this evening, and I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. And I just pray God's blessings on the rest of the program. Sister Terrell, are you able to um, share your camera with us? Are, are you... um, not, not, no, I can't right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Blessed, assured. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory Your mic is muted, Sister Terrell. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what happened. All right, I'll start again. Am I clear? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. All right. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a Of glory, divine, era, salvation, purchase of the born of his spirit washed in his blood perfect submission all is at rest I in myself Watching 
and waiting, looking above, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior, this is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior, praising my Savior, praising my Savior. Thank you so much, um, Sister Tyrrell, for reminding us that we still serve a powerful God. Eh? And um, as long as we live, it will continue to be our story. It will continue to be our song, praising the good Lord all the day long. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Gethsemane is on fire. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, you, this g -Hop, it's a powerful ministry, and uh, I am very privileged and I'm honored to be here with you wonderful people. Uh, man, I, I, I've just been enjoying myself since I came in this space, um, from opening to the youth forum, um, everything has just been wonderful. Um, I only have one little confusion, and that is um, um, Elder Mensa, McKenna, <laughs> and Sister Jackson. I'm not sure who you introduced, or who you were talking about. I don't know the person. <laughs> was the man of God. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's good to be here. And Pastor Johnson, much blessings to you, my bishop. Much blessings to you. Love you so much. And I am privileged to be um, with you all again. And I like to give a shout out. I have one of my elders also on the on the platform, Elder Mark. Amen. And he texted us. He was. Amen. And, Amen. Um, it is just good to be with you, wonderful people. Oh, man, I I, 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 I want to be like you guys when I grow up. <laughs> Have mercy. <laughs> so I've got to, to strive for the mastery. But um, um, in your Vesper um, thought, as I bring a thought to you, I was told um, um, it's supposed to be a sermon. And I am no good at sharing thoughts, eh? Mm. I'm good at sharing thoughts, and um, I have um, less than 30 minutes just to share with you a brief word from the Lord. Um, not anything new, just something old, eh? an old word. The old-time religion is still good enough for me, I believe. Preach! Um, let me share with you um, this evening from the book of St. Luke, St. Luke chapter 8. Um, St. Luke chapter 8, and I will read for you. Um, verse 41 on through 48, a very, very um, um, popular passage of scripture. It says, and behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at Jesus' feet and besought him that he would come in into his house, for he had only one daughter about 12 years of age, and she lay a dying. But he, as he went on, the people thronged him. 
And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied Peter, and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and sayest thou, who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her daughter, be of good comfort. Mm. Thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace. Amen. In peace. Um, my subject to you tonight is deeper, higher touch. And I see my big sister online also. Um, Amen. Avani Welton from the Bahamas. Mercy. Amen. <laughs> And she's there caring about parish. Um, St. Mary still remains the, the, the number one and the most beautiful parish in Jamaica, Brother McKenzie. Yeah. Mercy, and mercy. That's the end of the story. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Deeper high touch. Let us pray together. Father in heaven, as we share together as brothers and sisters from your holy words, we pray that you will come divinely close to us and um, speak to us the peace of your commandments. May we find comfort as always in the word of God. May we hear as it were the very voice of Jesus talking to us tonight. Move me out of the way and I pray that to you will be all the glory and honor given. For Christ's sake we pray, amen and amen. Amen, amen. Higher touch. By this time in Jesus's ministry, the people were following him everywhere he went. There were times he even had to launch out in a boat just to escape the pressing throng. There were thousands of people who would follow him even into the desert, seeking for a healing or just listening. Now, wherever he went, people would flock to the feet of Christ. They pressed upon him. He could hardly move. And here in this verse of 40 that we just read, Jesus comes into the city and the people are already waiting on him. We are introduced to a man who is a ruler in the synagogue. His name is Jairus. This meant that he was probably, he, he had high authority in the city. It also meant that approaching Jesus, he was running the risk of losing respect and rulership if other religious leaders would see him. Yet he had a sick daughter. She was home dying. It is interesting to see his approach. As he comes near to Jesus, the Bible says that he fell down on his knees and he besought or he begged Jesus that Jesus would come to his house. Somehow news had gone about concerning the power that Jesus possessed. Somehow the news had been noised abroad about this man who was able to heal, this man who was able to deliver. And yes. so people were filled with excitement every time Jesus would pass by. And so it is no strange thing that Jairus, um, he understood that this Jesus was no ordinary person. This was not an ordinary man. And, and brethren, we could stop there for a while because I just need to remind somebody that we do not serve an ordinary God. Yes, we sir. serve an extraordinary God. And so here it is, um, Jairus fell down on his face and he begged him to come to his house. He knew that if he only 
could get Jesus to his house, there would be a chance for his daughter to be made whole. Uh, though Jesus continually faced competing calls for his attention, when a man of influence approached him with urgency and yet humility to request help for his sick child, Jesus set out to offer assistance. And that speaks much to the character of Christ, because I hear somebody says that he's never too busy mm -hmm. to hear your heart's cry. Yes, sir. And I want us to understand that the God we serve is a God who cares about us so much that he, when we call on him, he responds. In mm. fact, the Bible reminds us that before we even call, he answers. And right. so we serve a God who, who cares about us. He loves us so much. But I'm not come to talk about Jairus dawn tonight. I'm coming to talk about the woman who had no name. Mm -hmm. and as Jesus head in that direction, the people were all around him. And in verse 25, we are introduced to a woman. The Bible says now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years mm -hmm. and had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better. But rather, instead of getting better, she was only getting worse. She had spent everything she had to get out of this plight, but nothing had changed. She was probably taken advantage of by many persons, because you know some to-do doctors around town. When you are sick, everybody has a try this, try that, try this, try that. And so she would listen to neighbors, and she would have tried everything, but the Bible says that every Everything fail. This woman had experienced an issue of blood flow for 12 years. This woman was more, let me submit to you that this woman was more than just a character on a flat page in the Bible. I think that she is there to teach us a lesson, a lesson of being persistent, a lesson that says we should never give up, a lesson that says even when your back is against the wall, Jesus can still show up. I right. to, don't, don't, don't miss this. It is interesting that there's a contrast between the 12-year-old child and this woman who had an issue for 12 years. You can just imagine that the child brought happiness to her family for 12 years. In the same 12 years, this woman, she was filled with misery and discontent. This woman was suffering for 12 years. During this time, she she had nothing but pain and chaos and discouragement. Mm -hmm. While during the same time, Jairus, he had joy, hope, excitement over his daughter. And you can now begin to contrast and you may ask yourself the question, was it that God, is it that God didn't care about this woman? But mm -hmm. I'm going to let you know, my brethren, that you may be battling issues and going through situations for far too long than mm. you would want. And sometimes you're tempted to believe that God cares about the next person Very and he doesn't it. care about you. But mm. I've come to tell you that Jesus cares. I hear the song right. Rasa saying, right. oh yes, he cares. Yes, I right. know he cares. His heart is filled with my grief. When the days are weary and the yes. long nights are dreary, I know my Savior Cares. You yes, have to understand that this woman, her predicament was unusual. Mm -hmm. But guess what? God is a God who just shows up. He does his thing and everything works out as we will see at the end of the story. According to the law, her disease made her unclean. In Leviticus 15, 25 through 27, we see that this woman, she should have been in isolation. She was not supposed to be where she was. Uh, you have to understand, but there comes the day when she made up her mind that I I would rather press than die. And I'm going to tell you something here, church, that some of us will have to come to a point in our lives when we will have to choose whether we are going to press or whether we are going to die. But yes, I want to admonish you that it is worth pressing. And sometimes yes, as you press, you may not see the results coming right away. Sometimes as you press, you will still feel as if the burdens are getting 
heavier. Sometimes as you press, it will seem as if all hope is gone. But I've come to tell you, keep on pressing. Yes, because sir. if you know what I know, the Christian journey is all about pressing. When yes, you sir. got up this morning, you had to press through some struggles. Uh, all of 2020, we had to press through a virus. Come yes, 2021, sir. we're still pressing through the virus. There are some persons who perhaps thought that we wouldn't be here tonight, but guess what? God gave us state power and pressing power. And yes, so sir. even though sometimes in our pressing, we got frustrated. Sometimes we got weary. Sometimes mm. we got doubtful. But mm. in the name of Jesus, we continue to press. Yes, and I got a word from the devil. Even though our steps may be slowed and our praise may not be what it used to be, in the name of Jesus, yes, we're going to still press on. Amen. Her uncleanness would have caused her to lose four important things that are important to everyone. Now, what is it? Number one, she would have lost her religion because you have to understand that um, she would have been excommunicated and could no longer take part in worshiping God. She was shut out of the temple and the synagogue worship because she was unclean. Uh, let me tell you something, my church. Let me tell you something. There are many of us, we may not have an issue of blood, but we have some other issues going on that sometimes want to rob us of our religion. Because guess what? You will go through some experiences and you will tell yourself, I am never going back to that church. Know that the devil is trying to shut you out of your religion. There are sometimes somebody at church says something and you didn't like what the person said. Sometimes you didn't even hear what the person said. You only heard that the person said something. And because of that, you said, I'm not going back to church. And here comes an issue that shut you out of your religion. But uh, I've come back to worship God tonight. You got to understand that there is a devil who is trying to take away your joy. He's trying to take away your worship. He's trying to take away your praise. But somebody needs to understand that come hell or high water, we are not going to lose. I'm not going to lose my praise. I may lose my friends, the song says. I may lose some loved ones. But the one thing I will never lose is my praise for Jesus Christ. Another thing that this woman would have lost was her family. And you can just imagine the social reject that she was wrestling with. She would have had been divorced if she was married according to the teachings of Hillel. Her family would have been broken up because they could not live in their home while she was unclean. In fact, history tells us that if she was unclean, if she had children, even the very kids would have been taken from her. And I want to ask you something right now. How many of you are dealing with issues that are robbing you of your social life? Because mm. guess, what, guess what? Long before COVID-19, some of us were living in the crowd, but we were still lonely. Some of, us, we, we, some of us, we were trying to get along, but we just couldn't fit in because the world didn't want us. The world didn't like us. But yes. I have come to tell you that the Bible says when your mother and your father forsake yes, you, guess what? You will still have Jesus because I found a friend, the song says, who stick it closer than a brother. I yes. wonder if I have a witness here tonight yes. who can say that in Jesus Christ you have found a friend, a precious friend, a friend who says when you go through the waters, I will be with you. When you go through the fires, I will still be there. That's 
why I can hear David singing, even when I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death, yes, I will Lord. fear no evil, because thou, my God, art with me. Listen, church of God, all I need to know is that I have a Jesus who walks with me. Yes, I'm going to try to run on. The next thing that she would have lost was her possession, because according to the Bible, she had spent everything that she had. She had spent all her livelihood, and guess what? Nothing could cure. And so you can just imagine she had tried every available clinic, every remedy. She tried it. If you would go to her home, you would see all kinds of medication, and by now she had run out of resources. Uh, oh, let me slow my roll. Let me slow my roll, because I don't want somebody to forget that when your resources run out, guess what? Jesus is just on time. Yes, Can I tell you, I serve an on-time God. Her resources were dried up, but mm -hmm. her Jesus was about to come through. And I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but some of you, your, your resources have gone drained down. Your resources have gone thin. But guess what? You still have bread on your table. Yes, you sir. still have a roof over your head. Your yes. bills are still paid up even Amen. if you've lost the job because God knows how to take care of his own. Yes, let, sir. Let, let me still try to run on because this lady, she had lost everything. There was nothing else left to lose but her life. Mm. Mm. And so what she said, I'm going to go to Jesus because I've heard some stuff about the man. I've heard how he had touched this one and touched that one. I've heard about the, the blind receiving their sight, the lame made to walk. I've heard about the great things he has done. And if he has done this for them, truly he can do something for me. And, and let me tell the brethren, that's how I live my life. Because all I have to do is roll back the scrolls of memory every night. Now and again, see what God has done in time past and know that if he did it for others, mm -hmm. he can do for me. That's why the songwriter says, it is no secret what right. God can do. What he has done for others, yes, he will do for you. When I yes. open, he yes. will pardon you because yes. there is no secret what yes. God can do. But listen here, the woman had a problem. Let, 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 me let me trouble this before I close. The woman had a problem. What was her problem? She came to see Jesus, but there was a throng. There was a crowd, and, and here she was, so close, but yet so far. And mm. Here she was, standing in the vicinity, but not in the presence. Mercy. She was right where Jesus was, but you've got to understand that sometimes it takes more than just being in the vicinity. Mm. It Takes a touch. Somebody just missed that because mm. there are so many of us. We like to go in the vicinity where the where Jesus's name is being mentioned. We like to go around people who are singing, but we never do the ultimate reality, and that is touching Jesus. And so mm. this woman says, "Listen, I I've got to do something that no other woman with an issue has ever done before. I've got to set my pride aside. I've got to put my life on the line." And I've got to press towards Jesus. And I don't know, I can just imagine in my sanctified mind that those around her was they were much stronger, they were yes. much bigger. Because after suffering for 12 years, she must have lost some weight, she must have grown weak in strength, but she had an enduring mind that says, I've got to press towards Jesus. And I don't know about you, but I can see her in this moment as she begins to push people out of her way because she had to get to where Jesus is. And I don't know who I'm talking to, but you've got to understand that there is a blessing for you. There is a victory for you. But the yes, devil has set up some obstacles in your path. Sometimes the obstacles
obstacles is your church. Sometimes the obstacles is your family. He has put some obstacles in your way, but you have to have enduring power. You've got to say like this woman, I have come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. Yes, I've sir. come too far to turn back now. Yes, and so I've made up my mind that mm. I'm going to press against the crowd because I need to get to my Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh, Preach. Preach. Glory. He said, I've got to get to where Jesus is. I can just imagine she had to step on some toes. I can mm -hmm. just imagine she had to push some folk because when you're trying to get to Jesus, it is never an easy road. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You, what was it? Little, 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 if you want to believe this, yes or Preach. no, you can choose not to believe it. But I believe that Jesus long saw her pressing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he could have he could have taken some steps back to meet her where she was but I believe in the finite mind of my Jesus he mm -hmm. says lady let me see how much you want it because yes, how much you need it is going to show in how much you are pressing yes, that's why sometimes when you go to church and you hear some people shouting praise the Lord they are just trying to press towards Jesus you might not like the way they shout. You I'm may ready. not like the way they praise. Mm -hmm. You may have a problem with their pressing. Really? You will have a problem with their worship. But right. if you don't know about their 12 years of anxiety, oh, you don't know about their midnight moment, mm -hmm. you don't know about the troubles that they face, you don't know what they are going through, you don't know the hell they are coming from. Really? And so don't judge them because they really? shout in church. Don't judge them because they press too hard because mm. they are just trying to get to Jesus. Let me fix up. Let me fix up. Let me fix up. And so the Bible says that this woman, she pressed towards Jesus and eventually she got to where Jesus was. But, yes. but, but just as she got to where Jesus was, it seemed as if Jesus was leaving. Mercy. Preach! Whoa! What? What? And Johnson, <laughs> permit me to permit me to go into this a little bit because guess what? As she right, got go closer, on. it seemed as if Jesus was just about to leave. Uh -huh. But this woman said, "You know what? If I could but touch but the hem of his garment, then I believe that there is even power mm. in his garment." So mm. I did my little research and I realized that many theologians they all agree that what the woman touched was the tassel Amen. of Jesus' robe. And uh, that's what tassel in, there, in that language, it represented the word of God. And so in actuality, when she touched the tassel, she was actually laying claims on the word of God. Listen mm. to your church, I'm about to shut my mouth and get off this line, but I've got to tell you that you and I can still find the victory victory in the word of God. Amen. There is power in the word of God. There is hope in the word of God. There is joy in the word of God. Preach. You've got to understand that when you speak the word of God, there is power. The yes, devil may tell you one thing. All you've got to do is call the word of God. When he tells you you can't do anything, tell him that the word of God says, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. When he tells you that you are miserable, tell him that the word says weeping may endure for a night, but your boy is coming in the morning. You've got to see the whole of the word of God because in the word of God there is power, there is life in the word of God. And so what is it? What is it? And so this woman, she touched the tassel and immediately, I didn't say, I didn't say five seconds after, I didn't say a second after, the Bible says immediately her blood was dried up and you can tell she knew something and what she knew something happened in her body and Jesus in this moment of her silent celebration mm. Jesus stops and Jesus says who touched me mm. Mm. I, I, I didn't want to get to this part guys but forgive mm. me I gotta get to this part I gotta get to this part but I, I, when, when Jesus asked who touched me 
everybody denied that they touched Jesus. And that's, that's right. a problem right here because they have, they have been to church all day, but yet mm -hmm. everybody said, I wasn't the one who touched Jesus. Yeah, they know. have been to church all day singing Come and preaching, but uh -oh. nobody touched Jesus. Mm -hmm. They were at church for a miracle, but nobody touched Jesus. You've mm -hmm. got to understand that we have too many church goers. Pastor mm -hmm. Johnson, we have too many church folk who yeah. just don't know how to touch Jesus. And that's that's right. why sometimes they will come to church sad and lonely, and mm -hmm. they will leave the same as they came. But I'm going to let you know as I close this word of God, that mm -hmm. when you come into the presence of God, God, the songwriter says there is fullness of joy. Yes, there at his right hands are pleasures forevermore. And so whatever you are in need of tonight, all you got to do is reach out and touch the Lord as he passes by. Do you need healing? Touch the Lord. Do you need deliverance? Touch Jesus. Yes, Do you need the victory? Touch Jesus tonight because yes, he's never too busy to hear the heart's cry. Father in heaven, we thank you so much that even in this moment you are passing by. We thank you that there is still power in the word of God and even as we come on this platform, we pray that you will help us individually to reach out and touch Jesus. Father, we desire to touch you. We desire to feel your power. We desire to be transformed, to be changed, to be healed of our issues and we know that our healing lies in you. And so even as you pass by in this moment, I pray that the hand of faith will reach out and just touch Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Father, in this moment, may somebody touch you. Thank yes. You, Lord. Please, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please. And we thank you so much in the wonderful name of Christ. Amen. Mercy. What a wow. word. What a word, Dr. Mensa. What a what word. A word. Yeah. Wow. Oh. What a word. Said Gethsemane. What, what a word. word. What a word. Wow. What a word. I'm trying to clear some of the smoke, that was fire. I'm trying to clear some of the smoke, that was fire. <laughs> 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 yes, it was. Uh, that was some serious fire. Listen, twelve years of anxiety. I mean, hey, I, I, oh mercy! I don't know what to say, but but this message truly touched my heart. It did, and I'm sure, I'm sure the saints on the platform have been touched. Elder McKenzie. Elder Jackson, what do you think? I don't know about you, but <laughs> no words. Hey, no yeah. words. I am speechless. Mm. Boy, the, 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 there's a song that says the Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet, you know? It's That's right. moving here and it's moving, moving there, there, just like the day of Pentecost. And tonight on Jihad, we can see the Holy Ghost. We can feel his power yeah. moving. Pentecost yeah. reborn. Mm. Yes, sir. In this virtual environment, you can feel God's <laughs> presence and power. And mm. Pastor Terrell, after such a powerful message like that, and I'm sure others other than myself can relate, mm. I just feel impressed. If you have a situation or a name or um something going on in your life that you need special prayer for if you put your name in the chat and i just feel impressed to ask pastor terrell to pray for for those of us who have issues i'm not That's right i ain't too proud to admit i've got some issues mm, exactly. lord, lord knows i have a bunch of them yes <laughs> yes sir mm. i have issues i need a lot to uh, touch on them and i'm pressing i'm pressing tonight mm. i'm pressing and asking god to, to reach out and touch. I'm sure a bunch of us have issues. So please, like Elder Jackson said, put, put your issues, your name out there in the chat and our pastor will do justice to them and pray for us. But but church, we want this man back. What do you think? What do you say? Amen. Uh, Amen. Have you come back. back. Have Amen. You back, pastor, please come back. Yes. <laughs> come back. Please come back. Yes, sir. 
So, Pastor Terrell, we're going to come back at you again. We need you Thank back. You. This has been powerful. So, um, uh, we'll have Pastor pray for those who have put their issues up there before the youth uh, come and close us out for tonight. Elder Jackson, is that correct? Elder McKenzie? That is correct. If you have special prayer requests, place them in the chat. Um, if you... If it's too much to go into detail, put the name and the Lord knows what the situation is. Exactly. Yes. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> that was powerful. I, I don't know about you, but uh, don't let your obstacles stop you. And, and, and you know, Pastor Terrell, we want to extend to you and your church family any Friday night that you don't have anything going on, you're officially a part of Gethsemane's family. Hey, so you definitely. and your church are welcome. We're, we're here every Friday night at seven with the exception of if it conflicts with a, something the conference is doing, awesome. then we pause on those nights. So we won't be here during camp meeting and things of those nature. But, and, and also Elder Jackson, didn't uh, uh, Sister Charita also bring down the house with that song? Yes, Blessed she assurance. Did. Indeed, Jesus is good tonight. All right, Pastor, if you don't mind, you can offer a prayer for Let's the bless. names. Amen. Let us bow as we pray. Father in heaven, we are so thankful that we are able to come together once more, gathered at the feet of Christ. Yes. Gathered to seek your face. We thank you that you are our everything. Mm. You are our healer, our deliverer. Best of all, you are, you are our Lord and our Savior. We thank you that when your people pray, that you promise that you will hear and you will answer. Yes, Lord. So there are so many requests that are in the chat this evening. Persons seeking prayers for their family, for themselves. We ask that you will begin to move upon each request as written. Father, you know the desires and the petitions of their hearts. Mm. And I pray that the issues that we are we have to contend with on a daily basis, yes. that you will grant us victory over these things. Mm. We know that you promise that you will be with us through the highs and lows. You promise that you will be with us over mountains or through valleys. And so, Father, we will not forget where you have led us from and how you have led your people in the past, because we know the same God who was led in the past is the same God who will lead us in the future. And so we ask that you will um, just commend a very special blessing into the hearts and lives of each listener. We pray that you will bless them in their coming out and their going in. And I pray that you will make all things possible according to your divine will. We seek your blessings upon every family, every request. We ask that you will now breathe in a moment where we can actually feel your presence with us. May we feel the very heartbeat of a savior who died for us. <clears throat> Father, in this world, we are struggling, we are wrestling. But you have said you have overcome the world and the victory that you have won, you have given to us. And so mm. we ask that you will hold our hands lest we fall. I pray that you will give us humble spirits that we will follow in the way that you lead. Help us not to run before you. But right now, we lift up every problem, every issue, whatever the issues are, financial, social, uh, medical issues, whatever they are, we place them all in the hand of God. And we pray that you will work out all things according to what we know our God can do. Yes. May you lift up the fallen soldier. May you um, give strength and um, faith to those who have lost hope. May you restore family units, marriages. May you bless financially. May you heal those who are sick. All the issues we lay them at your feet and we trust that you will do as you have promised, that you will take care of your people. And now we pray that you will dismiss us with your blessings. May the joy of God linger long in our hearts. And may we continue to press because Father, we are pressing towards a high mark. Yes. That is the calling of Jesus. And we know that soon and very soon, 
one day pressing days will be over because we will meet on the everlasting shore. May that be our faith made sight soon and very soon, we pray in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. 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 Wonderful. Amen. Elder Jackson, I see you, you're talking, but are you muted? Yeah, I was just saying we're going to have closing remarks from Pastor Johnson before our youth gives us our, our final closing prayer. Pastor Johnson. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, my pastor, Pastor Terrell, uh, you are a joy to hear every single time that you speak. I never get tired of hearing you. I want to thank right. God for you. And uh, someone pl put it placed in the chat with your wife. Tell us what parish she is from. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's from Cincinnati. So I, I will go ahead and just correct what, um, <laughs> what Mackenzie said earlier. <laughs> uh -huh. um, because St. Elizabeth, of course, is known as the most beautiful parish. So I don't know if St. Mary falls in second place, but, you know, I'm sure Mackenzie would want to pull on the Westmoreland for the second place or maybe Hanover. I don't know. But St. Elizabeth, definitely first place. Okay. That's right. I concur with you. I concur. St. Elizabeth is the best parish, the bread basket. Thank you, Sharita. Of course, my friend. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, well I'm the garden all. I hope I didn't open up a can of worms. <laughs> you did. <laughs> but to, to the Terrell family, we thank you for joining us on this evening and for the powerful message and for the, the, the music uh, that was rendered on this evening. We thank you. We thank you uh, so much. Uh, and also, we want to say that you have prepared our hearts for tomorrow. Do not forget that tomorrow is Women's Day, and our speaker is none other than Elder Vivian Martin from Ohio, and we're going to have a, a wonderful time tomorrow morning. And then at 5, I believe the ladies are meeting uh, at the park, and uh, they have place to sign up that we are not allowed men we have to find something else to do uh, to uh to keep the sabbath by ourselves so don't don't come up with something uh that you should not be doing because your wife is not with you so uh, <laughs> uh we're not invited to participate in the in the evening in the evening program but once again pastor appreciate you so much and we thank you for joining us on this evening and g hop you did it again god bless you and may God, may God yes, keep you with you. We're yes. always anticipating what is what is coming up each and every Friday, and we thank you so much. Yeah, I okay. think that's a nice segue to to let the folk know, uh, you know in on what comes up next Friday. Next Friday is going to be a powerful, powerful G Hop study hour. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a riveting study. You don't want to miss it. So please make sure you're here. Riveting. And Pastor Johnson is. And Food distribution tomorrow? Yes, I'm sorry. Food distribution is tomorrow. That's right. It's, food, it's tomorrow. Yes. And we have a lot. We're asking for our members to even come out tomorrow. We have a lot of stuff to give away. Um, so please, please come out uh, 1230 to 230, if I remember correctly. From 1230 to 230, come out tomorrow and join us. Okay. And for those that are, are, are still with us, after the closing prayer, we have what we call the afterglow, where we pretend that we are in the church foyer and we come off of our mics and turn our cameras on and just fellowship with each other for a few minutes before the call is ended. So Kalila, who's giving us our, our closing prayer with youth? Hi, so Hannah's gonna be giving us our closing prayer this evening. And she has been trying to volunteer to do something with G-Hop and AYS and everything for uh, literally months now. So um, Hannah's going to be giving us our closing prayer. Amen. Hi, good evening. Um, as you guys know, my name's Hannah, and I'm giving you the closing prayer. So can you please bow your heads and close your eyes? 
Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us here this evening. Thank you for the wonderful message that was given to us. And as the speaker had prayed before, bless those who put their families' names in the chat, help them with whatever is going on. Bless this virus, help us to get through it. And bless us as we go throughout our Sabbath, help us to spend time with you and use our um, time wisely. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Mother's Day, mothers. All you mothers, happy Mother's Day. Thanks. Yes, happy Mother's Day to mothers. That's Have right. a good night. Happy Mother's Day. Right. And, 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 and Dr. Mensa. Yes, sir. I think I looked on a few minutes ago and I saw that my nephew, the Honorable Dean Miller, is on. Oh, really? Brother yep. Dean. <laughs> Brother Dean, how are you? Greetings, happy Sabbath. Mercy. I greet you well, I greet you well from, from Jamaica. Mercy. Yes, sir. Good to, good to hear your voice again. It's been ages. <laughs> it has been a while. It has been a while. Good to be on and truly blessed. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Glad Appreciate you could join you, us. Sir. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Happy Sabbath to everyone. Happy Sabbath, Happy Sabbath, Elder Fisher. I'm wishing all of you God blessings and a wonderful Sabbath. And I must say thanks again to the preacher of the hour. He did a fantastic job. May God continue to bless him and use him. Yes, Happy sir. Sabbath and a wonderful Mother's Day to so all the beloved mothers of Gethsemane and more. Amen. That's right. Happy, 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 happy Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Sister Jackson. Thank you, Brian. Mr. Mackenzie, it seems like you're, you're um, convincing me to become a true Sabbath keeper. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. How are you doing, my sister? That, <laughs> I, that, that, that's I am my sister-in-law. I have almost the how got me, man. Seems like you're getting me. I'm getting there. <laughs> Praise Great the Lord. Know. Praise the Lord. I'm getting there. Yeah. It's 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 good to have you. Yes, thank you. Bye bye. All right, All right. have a good one. Thanks. Hi, Peanut and Jada. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. good. Oh, you Nana said you had us for something. You did what? We didn't understand you. <laughs> I missed what he said. We we didn't we our Nina told us about what you were what you were gonna say about us. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, we we our our mom told us. So we did ah. walk around and then we came in so we can hear it. Really? Did she tell you what the, exactly that was? Uh, yes, he meant nothing. <laughs> Look, uh, we know that you are very um, outstanding and you're great and we appreciate because I don't think you have missed one Friday G-Hop called Peanut and Jada. So thank oh, you yes. for being faithful. Thank you for speaking up. I remember you participated and mom, I hope we've covered everything that we were supposed to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. As you say, um, Jackson. Yes, sir, Brian. It's um, I'll ask him, Pastor Otavero, you did a good job, man. This is Brother Brian. Oh, God bless you. Good job. And keep and, and keep and keep doing your um, your job, man. Yeah, man. Keep me in prayer. God bless you. Eh? Bless you much, man. Much love. And yes, you wonderful folk. Let me tell you, keep up this great work. It's it's beautiful. I believe God is well pleased. Eh? Hmm. I, I like your, I like your living room, Elder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Mackenzie, what did you eat? We just see a we just see a table now. What you eating, Mackenzie? Uh -oh. <laughs> Jacked chicken, curry, goat. <laughs> I mean, what note did you take? I missed that a little bit. Go ahead again. Uh, jacked chicken. Mm -hmm. Curry goat, curry chicken, fish, vegetables, 
you 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 name it. We you had a little spread. You know, I mean, all I see is the um your, your Walmart forks. <laughs> and, and Elder Mackenzie, if you are eating cake, it's got to be inspected. Elder Mackenzie, remember what, 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 the family what, what, is you know what? the same street, so you can bring us a plate. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> But when, when my my one no, you can walk down. The <laughs> Elder Mackenzie, you eating the black cake? If you eating black cake, it's got to be inspected. <laughs> we, we ain't sharing nothing. Blessings, my brother. Blessings, man. Pastor yes, Terrell, yeah, that was a powerful message. Happy Mother's Day, Sister Latania. Thank you. And all yeah. other females online. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys get pampered come Sunday. <laughs> well, and happy Mother's Day. Hey, hey, 